When purchasing a new ThinkPad, here's our recommendations on what you should do after turning on your laptop for the first time. If you follow these steps, it should help you to avoid the most common issues and mistakes people run into with new laptops. So without further ado, let's get started. So after you set up Windows, which is pretty straightforward, as long as you follow all the given directions, you're going to want to connect to the internet, which can be found in the taskbar at the lower right corner of your screen. Find your internet connection, then wait to successfully connect. Once you've connected, let's go ahead and sync the clock. Right click the date and time, then click adjust date and time. Turn on set time automatically, then click sync now to make sure the time is set correctly to your time zone. From there, we're gonna to want to install all Windows updates. In the search bar, type updates and select the check for updates option. Click check for updates, then download all available updates. You're most likely going to have to wait anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to finish installing all updates. When prompted to restart, go ahead and click restart and then open up check for updates again. Sometimes you'll have to install a second batch of updates and do another restart, so be patient. For this next step, please skip it if you don't own a Lenovo or ThinkPad device. Once all updates are complete and no more restarts are required, click the Microsoft Store button located in the taskbar below or in the Start menu, and then search for Lenovo Vantage and install. Once installed, you're going to want to check for latest updates, then install. You're more than likely going to be prompted to restart the laptop again, so be ready. After finishing all Vantage updates and restarting, now we're going to check and see if the webcam is working. Search for camera in the search bar below, then open. If you can see yourself, then everything is working. Go ahead and close out of the camera. Next, we're going to right-click on the Windows Start and select Device Manager. If you don't see Device Manager, you can also search for it in the search bar in the taskbar, which is right next to the Start button. All devices should be normal. If anything has an error or is highlighted yellow, it means something is not working correctly and needs to be fixed. All right, we're all finished. There's several other things you can do, like changing power settings. For example, we like to turn off fast startup and set the turn display off setting to never. But these are all personal preference, so we won't go into detail. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And consider contacting us today if you're looking for laptops or desktops for you or your business.